This wallet is beautifully crafted out of leather to my exact specifications, where the credit card slots are, where the business card slots are, where my driver's license going, where the cash is kept. And hidden in amongst it is a diabolically clever way to make a playing card or your business card appear magically. Let me show you it in its basic form in a card trick. Now this could be just a solo card trick or it could be the end of one of your ambitious card routines. In the beginning, uh, the cards can be shuffled and the spectator can select a card. Since I don't have a spectator here, for illustrative purposes, we'll use this one. What is that? Oh, three of diamonds. Good choice. On the face of the card, I can have the spectator write their name. In this case, we're going to write C2W, sort of like an ad. Once the card has been selected, I'll place it back into the center of the deck. Now, just to be clear, it's not on the top, nor is it on the bottom, which means, clearly, it must be somewhere in the middle. In my back pocket, I have my wallet. And my wallet is very unique because you see, in the corner is the company's embossing, the brand. And the brand is a three with a spade in it. I know that's not your card, but wouldn't that have been cool if it was? Heck, if that was your card, I would have bet on it and I would have had a lot of money. Oh, but I said I would find your card in the impossible location after you'd seen it empty. And now, right here, in the wallet, is one card, the Three of Diamonds. This is C2W, a really strong piece of magic that you can carry in your pocket and perform at the drop of a hat.